to make a house that survives 500 years. That's our goal. I'm Michelle Routian, this is Ryan. Hello. We did, you know, years of research of what are all the different green building materials? And then it was, what can we have in Hawaii? So <laughs> some people are doing, you know, the fiberglass domes and there's some kind of hempcrete and aircrete. We, look, we just kept looking and kept looking of like, what's gonna be reasonable to build with? And so this is considered a SIP house, structurally insulated panels. Basically, I mean, it's a really big industry. There's buildings everywhere. You can get all different kinds of things, depending on what you want. Just plywood on the inside, you can do that. The walls are four inches of foam with the MGO on both sides. I would think of it as like big ice cream sandwiches. I think what I like about it is that, you know, it, it assembles like Legos is relatively modular. If you want to get the hang of it, it things can go up really, really quick. Um, but they have electrical chases that are inside pre-made. So like, it requires you have forethought on the, the electrical plumbing, how much you're going to run exterior walls versus interior and the slab, things like that. And there were some inconsistencies on where those electrical chases, like they're in a standard location on all the panels. But when the panels start getting carved up to custom dimensions, where those chases land in the wall or is a little bit kind of up in the air. There's a lot of scenarios like that that we ran into. There's no wood in, this, in the whole process. And I think that traditional SIP houses have a large component of wood either on the interior or the exterior or joining everything in between. So like the more in line you are with that, like the more able your, uh, your workforce can be, right? Like there's more people that know how to do stick framing and all that fun stuff. And there's a strong analogy between that because this was steel, this created a lot of a lot of interesting, you know, resource constraints of like, well, what did you do that? How do you do this with stick? What do you do this with the, with the steel members? So it's like, if all you need is a house to come build up really quick, like I said, there's the templates that Michelle was talking about. Like those things are, you know, you can get them, they're pre-cut, they're, you know, the you know, instructions are going to be a lot more, uh, I guess, uh, specific than the, uh, than the ones that these, this was a very, this is a custom thing that we wanted to do um, to break up uh, the floor plan. All the inspectors are lovely. Like they come out and they genuinely are like, well, how are we supposed to look at the electrical or how are we supposed to look at the plumbing? And so, because, so all the plumbing is interior walls so that you don't have to cut into the exterior. So, you know, that's one thing which is weird and you have to run it through the slab. You can't go through, you know, the attic. And we wanted our, to have high ceilings. Michelle and I are both tall. So we wanted to have the feeling of openness and whatever like that. So because of that, we want to maximize our roof. So we don't have suspended ceilings in, in all the house. So suspended ceilings where you would run a lot of that electrical and plumbing to kind of, you know, get it around. We don't have that. So in most of the, the big open spaces. So it required the forethought before you submitted your permits to know here's where all the electrical outlets are going to be. And this is how we're going to run electrical. And this is the plan that we're going to execute on because what ends up happening is the inspectors come and they inspect the plan. Yeah. And then so you have to have that knowledge of like, all right, well, we need to stop here so the electrical can come in and see the wire, the permit, the inspectors guys can see the wires before we cap it all up and you can't see them anymore you know but it also speeds up the permit process because there's an extensive number of permit stages and michelle's a master at epic at this point but like how many stages we missed because they don't apply because the insulation the outside the framing everything is all one and so it just makes it a lot simpler one of the things we wanted to do is have like a very good power you know power solution and so Going off grid was one of the things we were wanting to do, at least if nothing else, having an off grid option um, and just being where we are and the amount of sun that we get, you know, we, we in this design, we opted to use our garage as our primary power collector. So we filled the whole garage with a uh, roof with nothing but power power panels, so 400 volt, 400 watt uh, panels. And so um, and then we have a 38 kilowatt uh, solar grid system or a battery system. So, you know, between that and that charge rate, we can actually have a really good balance and all the appliances that we're looking to run and kind of keep you know power at all times right now uh you know there's brownouts going on with hawaiian electric as they're rotating you know different uh power priorities until they get the generators fixed and whatnot and you know we're oblivious to that thankfully did lots of research on you know what's the best for the land what's going to work and i mean it's a there's a distributor on hawaii island it's called a nidac system and basically it's this giant fiberglass carrot and it's an aerobic system so the sewer goes in and then we constantly have an aerator just pumping air in and the bacteria breaks down the waste so by the time it goes to the leach field it's like 96 percent water 
we found somebody who does is good so we built a 10,000 gallon, it's concrete, and has a concrete top, so no air, I mean, no light gets in, so there's no algae. Um, and then the guy doing all of our engineering, the land engineering was like, oh yeah, let's bury it, like mm. to keep it cold. And so I mean, you can see it's beautiful. Like he cut it, he's like a surgeon with the soil and his giant tools. And um, so you can walk out on it. They have people that you can like put a cardboard on it. Like it was insane. Yeah. Again, it cost more, but not like, you know, like five times more anything. Yeah. Like it, I mean, it was a little bit more, but it'll last, it'll last forever. I like to grow things. So you know, we have a garden on this side and you know, want to get mini cows to help with the regenerative farming because the soil, while we have a lot of soil, it's not very nutritious. It's very exciting that, you know, we can help the earth just by not tilling and not using chemicals which, and having animals because I mean, animals are way more exciting than a giant tractor that's going to till the earth. <laughs> get to know your community find partners who can help you build your house as opposed to contractors like mm -hmm. people who are going to buy into the the vision of what you're trying to build can understand it and they're willing to kind of go on an adventure with you like i think we were exceptional exceptionally lucky in finding people who were willing to share their 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 community with us and introduce us to people who knew a lot of people and gave us a good head start on making good decisions at the early set that have paid dividends at this point and so um, finding those people and you know, just being, just a, being a nice good person. person, a nice person. Not like, like you're, being flexible, you're supposed to be here at nine o'clock and have this done. Like that does not exist. In the, the day, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And, you know, you're going to stress yourself out. You're going to make yourself crazy trying to make push, push a rock up a hill. That's just going to mm -hmm. slide right back down the hill. So it's like, might as well lean into it, embrace it. And just, again, find partners that will work with you and understand that it's a joint venture. And once that happens, and it's just kind of like feels a little bit less about trying to like achieve a goal as a, like oh we're trying to hit this date it's like no we're trying to make a house that survives 500 years that's our goal